day to go diving. Today we say goodbye to Grassy Key and head off on a easy breezy downwind run using our newly repaired spinnaker and we're making our way to Long Key State Park. If you missed the video at Corsair Nationals where we tore this thing apart, make sure you go check that out. But we had a local sail repair company fix this up and now she is back good as new. It was great to have this asymmetric spinnaker back as part of our sail quiver and we were really going to need it in the next few days as you guys will see in the coming videos. We've never had an asymmetric spinnaker before but it's proven to be extremely versatile. We were actually sailing with the apparent wind slightly in front of the beam this day and the sail was staying full just fine and pulling us along really nicely. This is my kind of anchor. Oh, you ruined it. I was going to say it's so quiet. All you hear is fish jumping and bird chirping and, and Jetty hitting her food bowl. <laughs> Nobody's around but us. Look, <laughs> look at this. And Jetty kicking her food bowl still. The wind just shut down like right as we were approaching this anchorage here. We're off of a spot called Long Key, Long Key State Park. I guess we're kind of in the middle keys, which is beautiful. We had a nice little sail today, a little bit of spinnaker, and the wind's supposed to stay, stay shut off. It's supposed to be really light tomorrow or basically dead tomorrow, so hopefully it's going to be some really good diving. So we're going to head out to the reefs out here and do a little diving and spear fishing and see if we can get some dinner. But man, I can't believe how quiet and still it is over here. There's some really shallow water right in back of us, kind of sheltering us from the more open ocean. Although there's a big reef line and a bunch of stuff out there. And then over on this side, it's Long Key, it's like a big peninsula here. And then the bridge and the rest of the keys going up the keys that way. There is a designated anchorage like Right around this little point right here, there's a big bite or bay, you, you would call it, I guess. And I think that's where a lot of people anchor. It's kind of exposed to the east, but, I mean, obviously it'd be dead calm in here, but it was so dead calm out here, we decided just let's stay away from shore a little bit and uh, in some clearer water. And there's actually a beach right over here, so we'll take Jetty to shore and give her a little beach time, see what's up over there. Silence. And generators interrupting the silence of our dinghy motor. <laughs> Are you going to the beach? Can't get over how calm and quiet it is. So we just got to the beach. You can see the Corsair out there. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. You can see the Corsair out there. This might be a short-lived beach exploration because the sun is setting and the noceums are already coming out. So, let's see how long this lasts. We've been seeing these things everywhere. I think they're just like little contraptions that go inside the crab or lobster traps that uh, that those are like the one way entrance and they can't escape through them. Okay, I think. Yeah, we're getting, I'm getting swarmed. I'm getting swarmed. Come on, too. Jay. Beautiful out. We are away from the beach and away from the no seams. Thank goodness. Really hope they're not gonna follow us out here.
Okay, today is our day to go diving. Woo! Right now we are motoring out. We have to go three miles out in order to be in an area where we can spearfish. So we're headed out. We have the generator going so we can charge the dinghy battery and the GoPros and all the cameras and everything like that. So that's why it's a little noisy, but it's going to be a good day. We haven't dove in so long. I'm really excited. Hopefully we get to spear some fish, but just being in the water is going to be really nice. It felt so good getting back in the water and free diving again. We were a little bit rusty on our breath holds, but towards the end we had some good ones. We were diving in probably about 20 to 40 feet of water this whole time, and there was a ton of fish down there, a lot of hogfish, a lot of grouper, but unfortunately the season was closed for those fish, so we had to hunt for some other species. We just got out of the water, we got some dinner. <laughs> Fresh fish. Nice little mutton. There you go, Jets. We got some dinner for you. Alright. These guys are usually pretty hard to get. They're pretty skittish. We saw I saw a bunch down there in the beginning. And then Sierra spotted this guy right at the end. He was right with a bunch of hogfish. They're hard to see. Hogfish are so easy. So I went down to video the hogfish and then he was right down there and I looked up at Billy and I was like, Ugh. So I came down with the spear and got him. Sierra got him used to uh, humans because he didn't really move too much when I went down there. Usually they're so hard to get. Really, really skittish fish. But we got some nice mutton for dinner and um, yeah, a ton of fish down there. So here in the Keys right now, you're not allowed to shoot hogfish. You're not allowed to shoot most grouper, like all the common grouper that we see down there. The only ones we were really able to hunt were mutton snapper, yellowtail snapper, which surprisingly, I didn't see many of those around. I saw one little uh, Spanish mackerel that I tried to get, but he was too quick. And I don't know, linefish. I didn't see any. I didn't see any linefish either. Actually, I saw one little baby. We're going home with dinner. And, and there are, were a ton of fish down there, like a ton of hogfish, a ton of baby hogfish, and a ton of grouper, yeah, like big grouper some too. big ones, and some a bunch of small ones too, but some massive ones. So. And the biggest nurse shark I've ever seen. Yeah, so lots of life down there. It was amazing diving. We're going to motor, probably motor straight back into where we anchored this morning, and I think so. And then tomorrow will be a sailing day. Really not much wind out here at all. It's like five knots.
right, guys, we're all anchored up close to where we were last night off of Long Key State Park right here. We were right over there, right around the corner last night. The wind is supposed to pick up just a little bit from the south, southwest tonight and tomorrow morning, so we figured we'll just come around the corner here and be a little more sheltered. Um, just make it super comfortable. There was a bunch of shallow water right off this point all the way out. So even if we do get a little chop built up out there, we should be protected by that super shallow water. Beautiful. Wind's just super light right now. Sun's finally starting to go down. It's starting to get hot. It's, what month is it? May? And summer's coming. Not crazy hot, but it's getting there. Some days when the wind dies. Anyway, we've got a few boats anchored around us. Uh, a little motorboat in there. And a little sailboat back behind it. Catamaran over there. And then we got a couple other monohulls. And then that cool looking like, looks like an old monohull turned into a trawler type thing. We're gonna fly up this fish here. Right on the beam, I think, right here. And uh, yeah, get ready for dinner. All right, we got a fillet. Cutting board fillet knife here. There we go. Look at that guy. Perfect mutton. Hello, I can't well, that knife is not sharp enough. Beyond the ghost We stand on the opposite shore. Hello. Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly though. I should be the last to know All in the I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly though. I should be the last to Too. All right, we got some chickpea pasta with meat sauce, some canned green beans, and some delicious fresh mutton snapper seared with butter and old bay. You would have never guessed that was done on one burner stove, would ya? Just call me Chef Sierra. How is it? melt in your mouth. This is why we can't go to restaurants and get fish because everybody overcooks it. Or Not it's, us. Or it's frozen. Yeah. <laughs> like fish should melt in your mouth. If it's like rubbery or if you can't cut it with a fork, it's overcooked. It should be flaky and tender. Not mushy though. It's perfect. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do so. Well, we just want to thank you guys as always for hanging out with us today, and we hope you had fun, as much fun as we did. We'll see you next time. Bye! Wait, you do that. Do that. Bye!